Hello from Vilnius, Lithuania. We landed a few hours ago, we've just had lunch and now we are at the Mo Museum of Modern Art. Unfortunately their main exhibition is closed, so we're on the second floor at the moment. We only paid five euro to get in but normally it's 11, um, but the exhibition's changing over and that won't be open until the 12th of October. So we thought we'd pop in and have a look at it, purely because it is about to rain and um, we were going to climb a hill and we thought we'd come and shelter from the rain for a little bit and then we will see about climbing the hill so I'm going to take you around with me and show you what they have here this is a very odd place I have to say <laughs> and I are both walking around <laughs> like now look I love art I love being creative I appreciate modern art I have no idea what this is it kind of feels a bit like euro trashy do you know what I mean <laughs> like, what on earth is this very weird and I don't understand what's going on. I didn't actually want to start off this vlog on a negative note but I mean I'm always honest. Oh there's like a wedding photo shoot going on. Just look at the bride. Okay this is like the highlight of this museum experience. This is so cool. You probably can't see from here but oh this is so nice. It's such a nice and beautifully sunny day. I have a feeling it's not going to rain, so we're about to leave. Just made our way to Gediminas Castle Tower, which you probably can't see behind me. It's 24 degrees, it's really hot here. Um, we are going to see if the funicular rides are actually operating. So I've just seen one. I will insert a clip because when I checked on Google, um, apparently it's temporarily closed, but I've just seen two go up and down because, oh, you probably can't see. There we go. This hill behind me is incredibly steep. Um, so it might be quite nice to take an alternative mode of transport up. It to self, do not believe Google because it is open and it is two euro for one way or three for a return journey so obviously we're going to do that <laughs> hmm? so the path doesn't actually look rickety to me this is just what i've read online but look at this view from this side it is stunning and it is such a beautiful day This tower, which you can pay to go inside, and it's like a museum. Um, but really, the views from here are absolutely stunning. It's quieting down a little bit. I'm kind of just waiting for sunset, uh, maybe another half an hour or so. But you can see the river all along there, um, the bridges, all the buildings. And on this side, you do get another view, but because it's backlight, it's not very good to photograph really. And there, actually, is the Three Crosses Monument, which was on my list of places to go, but loads of people say that the view from there is actually not as good as the view from here. But at the moment, as you can see, that's the Three Crosses Monument. And like I said, the sun is starting to set on that side. And so you go and get all the backlight. <laughs> so it's just not a good time of day to go. You won't really see anything, so it's a little bit pointless. What I mean about the backlight, it's quite hard to see all of these buildings. I said earlier, never trust Google because it said that this path is really dangerous and slippery. Um, this does not look like it's the case, but obviously we are now getting the funicular down and there's our ride about to make its way up to us. <laughs> he's to, I think he's trying to show us how much fish he caught. <laughs> oh, but I can't watch this. <laughs> he didn't like it. It's not a good fish. Small, small. Small oh, fish. Too small. too small for him. <laughs> oh, here's one. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> Little fish. Yeah. Little fish. Little fish. Little fish. Big fish. 
Oh, what's that? Uh, we're now just walking along the river. Um, we found some fishermen quite entertaining and they found us quite entertaining. <laughs> I think they were just thinking, like these people have never seen anyone fishing before. I don't think I needed to see that in detail though, but um, oh my God, it is so nice here. Oh my God, can we go on a boat? There's boats, let me show oh. you. I have no idea what direction we're walking in, but it is just such a beautiful day that we might as well just take the scenic route wherever. So we've just stumbled upon this market in the old town. It looks really busy. Um, so I thought we'd have a look and see what it's all about. I think it's like a craft market. Wow, it is so busy. We just saw a guy wearing this hat, oh, yeah, Jess. <laughs> I actually love this dress, it is so nice, it's pure linen, I've got an obsession with linen at the moment and it's 90 euro. I look so tired, we've just come out for dinner um, at a restaurant called Bernalusega, I don't know, um, but they do traditional Lithuanian food which I've been dying to try and they do one vegan dish and one veggie dish. So I've ordered both. Um, yeah, looking forward to trying it. Okay, so I have some grated potato dumplings, and I think these are vegetarian and not vegan because I've got a chanterelle mushroom sauce that comes with it. There was a choice of various different things like soft cheese, rocket, etc. I chose the mushroom sauce. And then I've got the vegan dumplings which are filled with mushrooms, and Jas has gone for the mixed dumplings which have like minced meat mushrooms, cheese, stuff like that. But there we go. Here's my verdict. The um, pancakes were excellent. The sauce was like really, really good. That's what made it a little bit bland for my liking, but the sauce was delightful. The potato dumplings were not for me. They were really, really dry. Um, I had to get a second drink to try and help me swallow it. Um, but yeah, I'm still gonna try more vegan Lithuanian cuisine because I feel like if I go to a vegan only restaurant they'll do a better job of it because that's all they do right morning it's a bit of a drizzly day but we are about to start a walking tour of Vilnius hopefully the weather holds out because as you can see I'm dressed for summer there's a lot of people here and nobody seems prepared with jackets or umbrellas so I'm glad that we're not the only ones so it's going to be an experience of a couple hours uh, and hopefully that after these uh, two hours and roughly ten minutes you guys will be able to have a picture about Lithuania and you fall in love with Lithuania okay so that is my goal of today. So we're now walking through the Jewish neighborhood and I think she said it's called stickly because that's the word for glass blowing and that's what they used to do. A lot of gastronomy is actually coming from Jewish because uh, particularly uh, the, the Jewish gastronomy was de developing in Lithuania so well since uh, we are talking about the similar, uh, it's specifically Ashkenazis that were the Nordic, uh, Nordic or the northern part of uh, of Europe Jewish. They used to have a lot of the similar ingredients, and they could easier adapt here in Lithuania. So uh, a lot of the locals they don't even know how much of the cuisine from the Jewish do we have. Uh, particularly, uh, another important thing about the decoration of this place, you can see we have this one over here. Talking about food, by the way, this is a pastry shop. <laughs> uh, so the pastry shop here, they uh, have a collaboration with artists. So the Uzhra Republic is an independent republic since 1998. So we're entering this independent republic, which is pronounced Uzhra Pis, which means literally behind the river. There's all these like padlocks on here, which I've seen photos of. Um, and they have their own currency, their own constitution the hand over here okay and close your eyes for a couple seconds could be a couple minutes it's totally up to you uh, so this is how you will get the energy just at st anne's church now which is such a stunning building it's a really short walk away from Ujapis, and right behind it in the distance there is st francis's church it's very busy around here but i'm not sure if we're going to go in on this walking tour 
and this is where we were yesterday, Gediminas Tower. The castle is right behind, but I think we're actually currently standing in Cathedral Square. The walking tour was good, but I have a very short attention span, and so towards the end it got a little bit boring. Um, but it was really interesting to walk around some of the sites. I thought it was a little bit rushed, but I mean, it was a free tour, so you can't really complain. Um, you just have to tip them at the end, like what you thought the tour was worth. Um, it was good, it was quite interesting, but I would like to explore some of the places a little bit more. Um, we've just stopped and had a coffee at Escadar Coffee. I love how all of their mugs have this like little indent for your thumb. It's so cute. Um, I want to buy some mugs like that, but I don't trust them not to break in my hand luggage. Um, we're on Pelez Street, Pelez Street, I don't know how to pronounce it, but this is like the main street in the old town and everything is kind of off here. It's now actually 2 p.m. So we've had a coffee and I think we're gonna um, go and get some lunch and then possibly go to the Palace of the Grand Dukes. We're going here for some lunch. It's called Agni Food and it's also a yoga ashram, which looks really cool. This looks so nice. It's giving me Bali vibes. So we've just ordered a hummus bowl. This was actually a starter. The portions are not massive, but she warned us. So this was a starter, the hummus bowl, and these were some dumplings with pea protein and some other veggies. But these are two vegan dishes. So we opted for um, tofu instead of paneer, I think. Although she called it sweet milk cheese. I don't know. Anyway, we went for the two vegan options and we're going to share these. <laughs> to a restaurant called Pyramus Blindness, which is in St Virgin Mary's Church. We actually stopped by this place um, on our walking tour this morning, but it's a social enterprise that is run by a company that only hires um, people with disabilities and learning difficulties. So we thought we would stop here and just grab um, like a little bite to eat. We had a very light lunch um, at Agni Food. And it wasn't the best, actually. It was all right. I think their great reviews are actually more to do with the yoga studio that they have downstairs but there's actually a thing um, on this little leaflet on our table and it said that they only um, so this church has three floors and the bottom floor is this restaurant um, and they serve delicious pancakes and host educational events like lessons about down syndrome exhibitions and language exchanges um, so yeah, seems like it's for a great cause. We've ordered one savoury and one sweet pancake because I don't really have a sweet tooth. This shadow, oh it's not even a shadow, it's my hair. Um, but yeah, hope it'll be good. Holy moly, these are huge. Just got the banana and chocolate and I got the burrata, spinach and cherry tomato one. <gasps> these are <laughs> massive. That was way more filling than I thought it would be bit rich for my liking because obviously burrata was really rich um anyway but a lot of pesto it was really good though um and really really affordable so we were going to go to the palace of the grand duke but unfortunately it closes in about six minutes we didn't realize and it's also not open tomorrow so we're going to walk towards vilnius cathedral instead um i always i never know what day it is when i'm on holiday but it's actually a sunday today so i think that makes sense as to why things close earlier. So we've come to this 2D cafe which is inside the Museum of Illusions. I'm not so sure that we actually want to pay to get into the museum. Um, I'm not sure if it's worth it but we thought we'd come and sit in this cafe instead. It's really cool, it looks like it's made out of paper so it's really hard to tell. This is so cool. Okay, so the lights are very slowly coming on, but this is Vilnius Cathedral. In the back, just there, you can see Gediminas Tower, where we were yesterday. And this is the bell tower that I would like to climb tomorrow. I've seen very mixed reviews online. Some people say it's not worth the fee for the view. Some people say it's great, but we shall hopefully figure it out tomorrow when we visit the cathedral. Maybe be a bad example, but do you see that patch of brickwork? All the buildings here seem to have that. And the lady on our walking tour said it's not because they can't afford to fix it, 
it's something to do with building regulations so here every building needs to have some sort of patch to show what the brickwork behind it or the original brickwork actually looks like i personally think it looks really cool um, especially the more rustic ones but here is the cathedral up close and then we're walking around it around the back of it to a vegan restaurant Vilnius is so clean and it's really, really quiet. I think this is probably the busiest it will be because today is a Sunday and I have heard it's like ghost town during the week because obviously everyone's at work. Um, but it's probably one of the quietest like capital cities I think I've ever been to. I've now come across Gedimina's Tower again and all the way in the distance, unfortunately I can't take a photo of it, is the Three Crosses Monument, which we still haven't been to, and I'm not sure if we will. So we're in Rose Hip Vegan Kebab. Yesterday we went to the Bistro and the food was insane. This place looks a little bit more basic, just judging by the decor alone, but I'm excited. If the food yesterday was anything to go by, which it was, honestly, it was a 10 out of 10. Um, oh, they've got so many options. These are all of their options. Okay, these kebabs are massive. There's just for context. <laughs> it's a good job we didn't order any fries with these kebabs because, I mean, like, how do you even? Wow. come to um, a place called Aulas Biblioteca which is the beer library. They have a secret door um, hidden in that bookcase. If you open it there's like a really cute cozy little nook inside with books. They've got these like really nice like banker's lamps. Um, the, that, the vibe and the ambience in here is so nice. We're sharing a beer because I'm not actually a massive beer drinker. Just as pointing to that old school telephone yeah that old school phone in the background um really nice place great for just a chilled place to visit in good the old town good find great find jess yeah. next stop is a whiskey bar oh this is nice this one oh okay oh no for me okay Right this smells good. good. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Please, he's recommending one for you. Yeah, you recommend a good one. Uh. Uh, for example, this, this is the one of the most oldest distillery in in Scotland. Oh really? Yes, so it's from 17. Thank you. Good morning. We have just walked down to St John's. Bell Tower. This is meant to be another great place for the views. So we're gonna we're walking through the university, but we're gonna try and figure out where it is and I will show you when we get up there. We are in the right place. The bell tower is located in the university complex. You can walk around the courtyard um, and go into the church that's free, but the bell tower, which is just to my left, um, it's five euro per person, but it is the tallest building in Vilnius Old Town, so we're definitely buying tickets. And she said that there is an elevator, don't worry, so I'm very happy about that. <laughs> and what? <laughs> <laughs> Again, some 30 steps on your own. The last two, a little bit, nothing too much. So, okay. Welcome. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so there's an exhibition on the first floor. So you can get an elevator from the first to the fourth floor and then when you get to the fourth floor there's about 10 steps just to get outside onto the viewing platform. Um, this building is super impressive, like it's 
really, really nice in here. You can literally hear the birds inside this building. This is the fourth floor and there are actually pigeons that um, keep trying to run away from me, as you can see here. But now I'm gonna climb, where's the entrance? Oh, here, all the way upstairs. Oh my God, that was such a steep climb, but totally worth it for the views. We've just walked all through the old town and through Uju Piss and round the other side. We're going to a market which I believe is up there called Papioturgis, but we have to walk in a zigzag all the way up here to get up there. Um, this area, you can definitely tell that you're not in the old town anymore because all the buildings are like very, very modern. There's some like really cute playgrounds, some high-end boutique stores, like really fancy like dental practices and things like that. It's giving me like King's Cross, Coal Drops Yard um, vibes. It looks very nice to live around here, but let's go and check this market out. I don't really know what to expect. Oh, wow, it's basically like a gigantic food hall. Vinegar, uh, so vinegar, chili oil, and same is. Soya. Oh, soya. Soya. Oh, yeah, soya. Oh, okay. Spice. Yeah, that's the. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. First up, we have some Korean aubergine and tofu bao to share, and Jas has got himself a local beer to try again. Good morning. I forgot to end my vlog yesterday. Um, it's our last morning in Vilnius. We've just checked out of our hotel. We stayed at Artist Centrum, which is not a hotel I loved, I have to say. Um, but we're on our way to the train station. We're just waiting for an Uber to pick us up because we have a train booked to take us to Konas. So I'm going to end this vlog here and start a new one later on today. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next one.